Hello students. Today we are going to study new topic that is finite and non-finite verbs. Verb is an action word. You have studied in the previous class also. Today we are going to study what is mean by finite and non-finite verb. A finite verb is one that has tense. Moreover, it has to agree with its subject in person and number. Therefore, it changes its form accordingly. Once again, I will repeat the definition. A finite verb is one which has tense and it has to agree with its subject in person and in number. Therefore, it changes its form according to the tenses. A finite verb is very essential in a sentence and it is closely connected to the subject of the sentence. To form a sentence, a finite verb is very essential and it is connected to the subject of the sentence. I would like to quote few examples on finite verbs. Now the highlighted words in the examples are finite verbs. The policeman asked him to stop the car. Now here asked is finite verb. Second one, I will complete the work by today evening. Now here complete is also finite verb. Third. He tried in vain to escape. Fourth one, does she help you in cooking? In third sentence, tried and fourth sentence, help is finite verb. Finite verbs are limited by tense, number or person. It can be in the past tense, present or in the future tense. For example, she comes here once in a week. Now, comes is a verb which is in present tense. Second one, she came here twice last week. Now, came, this is the past tense. A finite verb is limited by number. I have already told you. It can be singular or plural depending on the number of the subject. A finite verb has to change its form. Example, the boy speaks well. Now, the boy is their subject which is in singular. Those two boys speak fluently. Now, those two boys subject it is in plural. So, therefore, a finite verb is limited by number. It can be singular or plural, totally depending on the number of the subject. A finite verb is limited by person. That is, it has to change according to the person. We have already studied first person, second person and third person. According to the person, finite verb is limited by person. Example, I wake up at 5 o'clock. I is the first person. He wakes up at 6 o'clock. He is the third person. Let us move to non-finite verbs. Non-finite verbs are those verbs that are not limited by number, person, or tense. In case of finite verbs, they are limited by number, person or tense. But non-finites, they are not limited by number, person or tense. Non-finite verbs are not essential in a sentence. These non-finite verbs are used to express various shades of meanings. Now, let us go to the kinds of non-finite verb. There are three kinds. First one is participles, second is gerunds and third is infinitive. I will repeat once again. There are three kinds of non-finite verbs. First is participle, second is gerunds 
and the third is infinitive. Now, what is this participle? The word which ends with or the verb which ends with ed, ing or en are the forms of words used as an adjectives. Participle that ends in ing and represent an action, performs an actions going on or incomplete are called present participles. If I quote an example, you will get the idea what is the meaning of participles. Example, I saw a man carrying a basket of fruits. Here, I saw a man carrying here ing, carry plus ing. The action is performed. It was performed by a person. I saw a man carrying a basket of fruits. So, this is the example of past participle or you can say participles, ing form. Now, participles that ends in ed, d or en or t and represent a completed action, a action which was completed or state of the thing spoken of are called as past participles. Participles, earlier we have studied the action is which is going on. Here past participle means completed, the action which was completed or state of the thing spoken are called as past participle. Example, blinded by rage he stormed out of the room. Now, blinded, it is a past participle word, third form of the verb. Participle that take the form of having plus past participle and represent an action as completed at some past time are called perfect participles. I will repeat the participles which takes the form of having plus past participle and represent an action as completed at some past time the action was completed are called as perfect participles example having slept late he could not get up early in the morning that means here he slept late therefore he could not get up early the action which was already past that is called as perfect participles. Dear students, I am sure that you must have understood the finite and non-finite verbs. Please read the definition properly. I have given some assignment based on the topic. That is, you have to read the following sentences and pick out the finite verbs. Okay, total there are 10 examples. In the same way, the question number 2 assignment, underline the finite verbs and circle the non-finite verbs. Here you have to write the question as well as when you write the answer, you have to circle the non-finite verb and underline the finite verbs. Dear students, whatever the notes I have given in the video, you have to write it down in the notebook. Read the definition clearly and understand the concept which helps you to solve the assignment. If any doubt, read it properly and if there is any doubt, you can put it in the description box. Thank you and have a nice day.